US presidential hopeful Nikki Haley says she is staying in the race for the Republican nomination despite a resounding defeat by Donald Trump in her home state primary. Our North American Bureau Chief Jade McMillan joins us now from Washington. Jade, good morning. Nikki Haley still hasn't won any of the primary contests. How long can she keep doing this? Well, Michael, it depends largely on how long Nikki Haley can continue to sustain funding for her campaign. It's very expensive to run for the US presidency. And ordinarily, you might expect that a candidate who has now lost four state contests in a row, including her home state of South Carolina over the weekend, where she used to be the governor, that those sorts of losses could make it difficult to attract donations. But for the moment, at least, Nikki Haley appears is to have enough people behind her who do not want to see Donald Trump as the Republican nominee, that they're prepared to keep her campaign going. The former president's team has criticised Ms Haley for staying in the race and it argues that if Donald Trump stays on his current path, he could actually receive enough votes by mid-March to secure the nomination. So there is speculation around Nikki Haley's uh, ultimate goal here. Donald Trump is, of course, facing four sets of criminal charges. A conviction in either of those cases might not disqualify him from the White House, but is, uh, there is uncertainty as to how that would be received by voters. So is she hoping that she will eventually be seen as the only alternative? Or is she perhaps looking longer term ahead to a future presidential run? All Nikki Haley will say at this stage is that she believes more Republicans across the country deserve to have their say in this contest. She is campaigning in Michigan today where uh, voters will uh, have their say later this week and she's committed to staying on until what's known as Super Tuesday which is when more than a dozen states and territories will vote next week. Jade McMillan, thank you.